Thanks for watching windowcleaner.com. Divide and conquer French paints. Window cleaning resource, the window cleanse, coming at you right now. We are going to divide and conquer these divided paints. Okay, so you've seen me uh, in other videos where I'll use a spray cleaner like Sprayway, which is uh, available. You can check the links below at windowcleaner.com. But what I'll do is I'll spray the whole window down and you can use your choice of microfiber. This is going to be much more absorbent than an 80-20 blend. This is a 70-30. That second number, the higher the number, the more absorbency of your microfibers. But uh, let's try it anyway. Usually what I'll do is I'll go down like that. Up this side. You don't have to do it this way, but generally do it like that. I like doing things in bulk, so dress my edges first and just zigzag my way down. And the other side is dirty, mind you. That, and then if you want. Uh, let's try this microfiber. I'll just try to make sure I get want to get in your corners. Like that. Yeah, that's good. In your corners, your ledges. And you'll notice when I'm using my microfibers and my detailing cloths, I'm constantly after I detail, I'm wiping like this, wiping like this. It's because I'm getting I want to get as much of the excess moisture off the rag. I don't care if it gets all over me. But it's just a way of it's a small thing when it comes to the art of removing the dirt from the surface you just want to get that dirt away from the glass as much as possible you don't want to keep reapplying it so that's why you see me doing that a little bit more about our squeegee technique i like working in rows on this particular application but if you want to start from the bottom so i, ha I have a six inch blade here up and these panes are about six and a half inches. Come up like that, close out, start from the bottom. We'll do a different technique on every row. You see I wipe, I wipe it on my shirt just to dry it off. You can put a rag or something over your shoulder if you wanted to or tuck it into your belt like that. So you just cut in like normal, come down one side, travel up, Come down the other side, cut in this side, dive bomb down, travel up, come back down. There's the third one. Uh, cut in, dive bomb down, travel up and come down the other side. There you go. What if you're dealing with a situation where your squeegee blade is Long, wider than the pane of the window. Could you do a? Could you do straight pull? Sure. Let's do it. So let's. We just cut up like that. Cut across. Drive that blade into the corner. Into the, uh, into the edge, and then start from the bottom. Come up like that. Drive it into the edge. Dry the blade off and then come across like that. Okay, let's do it again. Uh, straight pull this way. So we're just gonna cut, cut in, straight pull across, dry it off, cut in, straight pull across, and then dig out, straight pull across. If you want, you can take your rag, create a dry spot, all right? And let's just wet that again. Take your squeegee and lift one end off the window and create a dry edge for yourself. And then, there you go. Dry the blade off, pull it across, drive it into the edge. Dry the blade off, pull it across, drive it into the edge. Here's something to watch for too. 
as the if you don't detail and even sometimes when you do detail as the doors open and close you'll get drips that come down drips 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 and so that's why it's important to detail your work so just take what's the excess that's on there pull that down Again, I wipe it on myself just to save time. To me, it saves more time to do that than to try to find a dry spot on your on the rack. I'm creating the dry spot by wiping it off on me. Okay. And finally, as you get down to the bottom of the door. You may find that your technique has to change a little bit. So, how are we going to attack these? I would do what's most natural for me is to come across, start from the bottom, come up, and then close out on the side. Detail that out, and come up from the bottom, come across. I guess you could close out on the bottom. What about this? You just have to figure out what's most comfortable for you. So those are a couple tips to divide and conquer divided panes. I hope that was helpful to you. This is Jordy from the Window Cleanse and on behalf of Window Cleaning Resource I want to thank you for spending some time with me. Uh, check the links below for all the tools that were demonstrated in this video. We had uh, the Pulex Technolite with a stainless steel channel and the Unger HD 4000 microfiber as well as the other tools. So tune in every Monday, Wednesday, Friday to get your fill of WCR content. No other supplier cares so much, no other supplier shares so much. You have a great day in your business. We'll talk soon.